photos have surfaced of Ghislaine Maxwell and Jeffrey Epstein at the White House with Bill fucking Clinton. What the fuck? These photos were taken in 1993 after Epstein donated to have the Oval Office refurbished. In these pictures, Maxwell and Epstein are touring the East Room with old Slick Willie. Now these photos prove that Clinton, Epstein, and Maxwell go way back. The other photos that had Epstein and Clinton together were from 2002. Mm, I don't like this. I don't like that they were at the White House. I don't like that they donated any money to its upkeep. Nah, fuck that and fuck them. This is apparently the first picture taken of Ghislaine Maxwell while she's behind bars. And as you can see right here, she's got a little bruise. The staff at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn where Maxwell is being held have asked her where she has gotten this bruise. According to Maxwell and her lawyers, she got it trying to cover her eyes because the guards shine a light in her room at night every 15 minutes to see if she's still breathing. I don't know if that's the truth, that's what they say. Like I've said before, I really hope she's not being abused in jail. We don't want to treat her like she treated all of her other victims. I think we should be better. But here she is guys, Madam Maxwell behind bars. We got the picture we were all clamoring for. Fuck those paintings! Oh, you read that correctly, folks. Ghislaine Maxwell's trial has been delayed. Originally, her trial was said to be held on July 12th. Now it's been delayed until sometime in the fall. Why has the trial been delayed? Well, because Ghislaine Maxwell has been slapped with more sex trafficking charges. Three million pages worth of sex trafficking charges. Judge Allison Nathan has provided Maxwell's defense team three more months to prepare for all of these new charges. I mean, I guess. And check out this painting of Ghislaine Maxwell. Doesn't she look like Shredder? It looks like she's gonna fuck up some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and then sell them into sex slavery. So, we don't know why Bill and Melinda Gates are getting divorced, but something that we do know though, thanks to the Daily Beast, is that Melinda was furious that Bill Gates had a relationship with Jeffrey Epstein. In September of 2013, Bill and Melinda met with Epstein at his Upper East Side mansion. According to people familiar with the matter, they say that Melinda was extremely uncomfortable to be in the company of Jeffrey Epstein and she wanted nothing to do with him. This meeting and Bill's subsequent friendship with Epstein apparently still haunts Melinda to this day. People close to the matter say that they weren't surprised that Melinda Gates was put off by Epstein. Epstein was apparently an obnoxious guy who made it a point to have bad manners and he never paid attention at dinner. So along with the mansion in New York and the Pedo Island in the Virgin Islands, Jeffrey Epstein also owned a ranch in New Mexico called Zorro Ranch. This is where he was planning to start his eugenics project. I'm not even kidding. Five employees work on maintaining the ranch full time and they do this because apparently the ranch is going to be sold later this year. One of Epstein's lawyers, David Weiner, was able to confirm this to KOAT Action News. The money that comes from the sale of the ranch will go to the Epstein Victims Compensation Fund. Brace yourselves, people, because the Florida Department of Law Enforcement has cleared Palm Beach State Prosecutors in the Palm Beach Sheriff's Office of any wrongdoing in connection with the lenient criminal prosecution and liberal jail privileges received by sex trafficker Jeffrey Epstein. What the fuck? Investigators found no evidence that Barry Kreischer, the state attorney on the case, or his assistant 
engaged in any wrongdoing or accepted any bribes during the investigation. Are you serious? It's funny because the report acknowledged that Epstein did receive crazy special privileges and he did abuse two girls while under house arrest, but still, no wrongdoing. <sighs> Bullshit. I got some more Bill and Melinda Gates juicy tea for y'all. Hold on, let me undo my seatbelt. It was found out that Melinda Gates here was consulting with divorce lawyers back in 2019. Her meeting with the divorce lawyers occurred in October of 2019, which was roughly around the same time that the New York Times dropped their article detailing Bill's relationship with Jeffrey Epstein. Uh oh! Bill, you done fucked up. On the details of their divorce, a 50 50 split is possible because of Washington state law. Bill and Melinda didn't sign a prenuptial agreement before they got married, so yeah, she could probably take half. Come on, Bill, don't you know what Kanye said? We want prenup! We want prenup! And oh yeah, you probably shouldn't have been hanging out with a pedophile. For those of you that aren't aware, Ghislaine Maxwell's trial was delayed not too long ago. It was going to be held on July 12th, but a mountain of evidence came in, and so it was pushed back. For a couple of weeks now, we didn't know when the new trial was going to be held, but now we do. November 29th. That's when Ghislaine Maxwell's going on trial. Ghislaine Maxwell's going on trial for sex trafficking charges, and if she's found guilty, she could face a maximum of 40 years in prison. Stay tuned. So this is Epstein's New Mexico ranch, and it's being sold later this year. In preparation for the sale, a mysterious deed to the ranch was recovered, and it's got a connection to Epstein's mansion in Palm Beach. According to the deed, a company called Love and Bliss owns Zora Ranch in New Mexico. Love and Bliss is a Christian nonprofit company based in Florida, run by a 22 year old named Alexander Lazinski. I think that's how you pronounce his last name. Love and Bliss claimed ownership of Epstein's Palm Beach mansion as well, but that deed was invalidated by Florida courts. Now, why would Love and Bliss submit these fraudulent deeds? Well, maybe they were trying to sell some portions of the mansion and the ranch. Either way, who is this Alexander Lazinski guy? You know who you shouldn't take relationship advice from? Jeffrey Epstein. More and more is coming out from the Gates divorce and uh, it's not looking good for Billy. It's reported that Jeffrey Epstein gave Bill Gates advice on how to end his marriage to Melinda after Bill Gates spent a night complaining about her at Jeffrey Epstein's townhouse in New York City. Apparently, Bill Gates would go to Jeffrey Epstein's house as a form of respite, as an excuse to get away from Melinda. Bill Gates also wanted to work on rehabbing Jeffrey Epstein's image. He also wanted Epstein to get involved with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Multiple people say that Gates and Epstein were really close. Want to ruin your marriage? Become friends with the pedophile. If there's one person you wouldn't want to be right now, it'd probably be Bill Gates. Actually, I don't know how true that is. He does have billions of dollars. Bill Gates, though, has billions of problems right now because there's a lot coming out about his relationship with Jeffrey Epstein. One Microsoft staffer has come out and said that Bill Gates saw Jeffrey Epstein as his ticket to winning the Nobel Peace Prize. What the fuck? The Nobel Peace Prize is apparently the one thing Bill Gates wants more than anything else in the world. Bill thought that Epstein could use his connections to help him. Ultimately, that wasn't the case, and Bill Gates was very disappointed. I think the only thing Jeffrey Epstein can get you is a one-way ticket to jail. Just ask Elaine Maxwell about that. 
Ghislaine Maxwell will be the subject of a new docu-series produced by author James Patterson. I'm not jealous at all. It's not like I've been docu-seriesing this whole story for almost a year now on TikTok. Ah, but who gives a shit? I don't own this story. Anyway, the docu-series is called Chasing Ghislaine and it will premiere on Discovery Plus later in 2021. This isn't Patterson's only foray into the Epstein world. He did produce Netflix's Jeffrey Epstein, Filthy Rich. According to The Hollywood Reporter, the show will show how Maxwell's alleged role within this conspiracy threatens a shadowy cabal of international elite and world leaders who might do anything to keep their identities and motives hidden. So are you guys going to watch this? Let me know. Prison guards Michael Thomas and Tova Noel have pleaded guilty to falsifying records concerning the suicide of Jeffrey Epstein. Thomas and Noel admitted that they willingly and knowingly lied on forms stating that they made the required rounds checking on inmates the night that Epstein died. According to the guards themselves, they were either sleeping or shopping online at the time of Epstein's death. Both guards pled guilty to avoid any kind of jail time. They will instead serve 100 hours of community service. While the official cause of death is suicide, a 2019 poll found that only a third of Americans believe that Jeffrey Epstein actually killed himself. Are you a part of that third?